try to I'm gonna try to put some some Durham's rock hard water putty in this area that I need to do a stucco patch and I was showing you the other day see there's some wires there those were pushed down tight I just kind of pulled them out and that's gonna be left inside the patch now if the wire if the wires weren't there then you know that would be fine too but since they're there we'll just leave them in there let them stick out now I got some shipping I've got some shipping tape here and I'm going to use this kind of like masking tape put around the put around the patch area on the stucco let's see if it sticks I think it's going to stick I just don't want to get it all over the place Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it all the way flush the first time. Okay. Now what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this block like that and wedge my hammer under it, my hammer handle, like that. Before I do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray some, uh, some WD-40 on it. Just hoping that maybe the patch material's not gonna stick to the wood. Hey, if it does, if it sticks, it sticks. There. Okay. There's my there's my little bit. Now I've got to mix up some some uh, rock hard. I found a way not to have to clean this out. You get when you get almost all the way done, you can wipe out the rest and put the excess in another patch that that you're going to need somewhere. Okay, that's that should be that should be enough. got quite a few patch areas to go but I wanted to see if I could get this up there because I'll have to I'll have to put a little bit more on it a couple times you know just to get it just right and each time you put some on there well towards the end towards the finished last little bit you put on it's going to get nice and smooth when you first put it on don't worry that it gets glumpy there's only so smooth you can get the first coat okay see it's just it's just stuck there it's not even like cake batter because you don't want it running out okay let's put this let's see what we can do here in there. Oh, that's going to be kind of tricky. That's why I put that 
tape on there. Just pack it in there. When you think it's full, put some more in there. And push on it. piece of sliver of the wood. Okay, I don't think I can get it much better. Let me let me try to make it try to add too much like that and then I'll take my three inch knife over it. Leave it just like that. And now see my excess. I can put over there. So I don't have to waste it. to get it all out of my pan if I get it smooth enough out of my pan I shouldn't have to scrape any out every time see This isn't going to be perfect because this is just this is just some excess that I've got. Okay. That's enough. Okay, so now now I'll let that dry a little bit. And I'm probably gonna lightly scrape it down just a little bit less than flush. I don't want it flush, do I? Because on my next bit, after this dries, I'm gonna I'm gonna scrape down a little bit on here, and then I'll uh little bit right down in there I could get too. Ah. See this stuff is setting up so much that I can't I can't really add any I don't think. Oh maybe there was when they when they cut it they cut it just a hair low right in there. Okay. I'll shave it down a little bit as it's drying. I'll wait maybe 10 minutes or so and then I'll take this block out. Okay, and we'll see how well that block comes out. I think it's gonna come out okay. And I, don't know, I don't know if I should, see it's, it's too wet to try to push this under. I'm not gonna do anything to it. And once I get it out, I can contour the bottom, the middle, and shave it down just a little bit because this is gonna be for a stucco patch. And then I'll have to get some sand and I'll mix it in with a little bit of rock hard. And then I'll, I'll, I'll put it over after I have this block out of here. Then I can kind of put it on there, maybe uh, go over the top with a little piece of wood or 
the paint roller to kind of mimic what's on here. There's quite a bit of sand in this stucco. And so I'll have to mix it up. It'll be a little trial and error. It'll be kind of tricky to see if, if I can't make it match fairly close. But see, just putting that tape up there, that's protecting this. Then once this dries, as it's drying, I'll scrape this. And then anything on the outside edge that I didn't get the uh, tape on, I can use a little brush and kind of brush it off. Start again, put some more tape on for the last go. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hey, this is Joe Guyver at its finest. We'll just have to check that out later. Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty. That's the stuff you want to use.